Hello viewers, my name is Teacher Kamanga. This is a mathematics learning video. I'll be taking you through the topic indices and logarithms. This is from two topic. I'll show you the formulas that you need to apply in this topic and as well as solving examples for you. And then I'll give you an exercise for you to try out uh, whether you have understood or not. After that, I'll also be able to provide the answers which will guide you whether you have understood what we have covered and much more, you are welcome to watch other topics that I have produced. So, you are very much welcome. So, in this topic, we are going to run indices and logarithms. The content of this topic are number one, indices number two rows of indices number three powers of ten and common logarithms number four logarithms of positive numbers less than one number five applications of logarithm so i hope you are going to enjoy the topic a good teacher is like a candle it consumes itself to write the way for others so we are going to look at what are indices this may look like it's a new term but if you are in secondary school you have already uh, used uh, what is referred to as indices we all know what is 3 to power 5. What it infers is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. That is 5, 3 multiplied by itself 5 times. So we refer to 5 as power. We refer to 5 as power. And we read this as 3 to power 5. Actually, index is another word for power. So 5 can also be referred to as index. So here we can read 3 to power 5, which is the same as 3 index 5. When we have... 2, 3 in the index, that is in plural, we refer to them as indices. So, indices is plural of index. Let's take an example. We may have 2 to power 4, 3 to power 6, 4 to power 2 and 5 to power 3. So here we have uh, now what we refer to as index. So we can say 4, 6, 2 and 3 are indices. The other number, we have uh, 2, we have 3, we have 4, and 5. So 2, like uh, 2 to power 4, uh, this is index, and this number is referred to as base. So when they are more than 1, then we can say this is a base, this is a base, this is a base, and this is a base. So 2, 3, 4, and 5 can be referred to as in plural bases. So that is what is the meaning of the term indices. It is a plural of index. An index is the same as power. 
So, like I had mentioned, it's something that you have dealt with in the past. Now, we are going to look at the three rows of indices and uh, we are to going to use examples to derive them. So, we consider this three situation. So, consider number one. Suppose we have a cubed multiplied by a squared. So, we can write this a cubed is the same as a multiplied by a multiplied by a. Then, a squared is the same as a multiplied by a. So, in total, if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it is equals to a to index 5. Uh, we take another scenario. 